Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. It's Whip Wednesday and I wanted to hop on here and say hello to everybody and let me know what's on your crochet hook right now. I just finished a super fabulous owl hat that I wanted to share with you in this, tu in this video here. I actually uh, filmed the tutorial with my dad and we posted it up on YouTube. I put the pattern on yarnutopia.com. Here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so fabulous. I love the texture of it. We have fur palms, we have 3D eyelids, we have huga yarn, crocodile stitches on the sides, and on the back side as well, which is so cool. And the ear flaps and the braids just add so much to this hat. And it's so comfy. It's so warm. I ended up wearing this out to the grocery store yesterday. And it just felt really good because a lot of people ended up stopping me and complimenting my hat. And it just felt really good to know people were noticing my work. And I just told, I got to tell them that I ended, I made it. And that was really cool too. So I am really excited about this piece. It's super fabulous and I love it so much. <laughs> so you can check out the crochet pattern on yarnutopia.com and the video tutorial is on the YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. The link will be in the description of this video. Um, so make sure you check that out. It'll be the first link. And I also wanted to share, I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the video. It's so fun. <laughs> I also wanted to share um, that last week, on Whip Wednesday's video, I asked you all to vote. Are you team blue or team pink? Are you team boy or team girl? What do you think I'm having? <laughs> I'm due at the end of June and we were able to find out what the gender is and I revealed it on yarnutopia.com. I'll also put that link in the description of this video so you can see a cute picture Nate and I took together. <laughs> but um, I'm having a boy, so that's super exciting, and we are just over the moon ecstatic about this news, and we can plan everything now. I can plan the nursery and all my crochet projects up until baby is here, so we have a lot of crochet projects in the works right now. Actually, next week I'm going to be releasing a new pattern for a pair of baby booties, so stay tuned for that. Um, here, I have them right here, actually. So these are the ones, aren't those so cute? They have little palms on them. They are adorable. These are actually super easy to make. Um, they're, they're worked flat and then you fold them and sew them to be the shape of a booty. It's so simple. So I made these on a tutorial, but for all you who have voted in Team Pink, don't worry. Um, we are having in our family, I'm getting a niece very soon. My brother and his wife are having a baby girl. So congratulations to them. And I'm still going to be making some pink related things as well. So for all of you um, who voted for team pink, no, don't worry. <laughs> I have the same booties in a light pink color and I'm gonna give these to my niece who's gonna be arriving very soon i'm so excited to meet her so we're gonna you know obviously have a lot of boy items but i will be showing a few girl items as well this hat is really warm oh my goodness i'm like roasting in here <laughs> so we have a lot of baby items coming up and also on my crochet hook right now are the Valentine's Day puns. I know a lot of you are very excited about the Valentine's Day puns because we do them every year. Uh, this year it's going to be a little different because I did move away from my parents after I got married and last year we were able to do all 14 and the year before. But this year I'm only going to do seven. I cut it in half only because it's a harder to travel back and forth between my parents' house and my house. And sometimes I'll go to my parents' house to film or my parents will come here and we'll film. So, um, and it's a two hour drive in between. So uh, it's harder to travel. So we cut it in half this year. We're going to do seven, but we are going to bring back some of the old, um, 
Valentine's Day puns from previous years because they are timeless and classic and so hilarious. And so I'm going to be sharing cute little crochet projects that you can give to someone you love and be super quirky and silly and punny <laughs> with your Valentine. So I'll be sharing those in the first two weeks of February. So it's a lot of fun. And they're super simple, super small projects that you can make in just a few minutes and give them away to your Valentine. So that is all I have today. I wanted to ask you though, from last week Wednesday's video, if you voted for team boy or if you voted for team girl, tell me what you voted for and tell me if you were right. <laughs> I want to see how many of you were uh, right on this. That was so exciting and I'm really happy to share this exciting news with all of you. Our family's growing and this is so incredible. So we're super excited. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I'm due in June, so we have a few months to plan still, and I, I cannot wait to create the baby's nursery. And obviously I will be sharing everything with my Yarn Utopia family, so stay tuned. Alright, until next week, happy Whip Wednesday and happy hooking!